The News 8 viewers have been sounding off on a lot of the stories we've been covering from the death penalty bill to a recent pit bull mauling, much more. Here's tonight's Voice of the People. It just kind of makes you wonder how they're talking about their little girl, that they have no food in the house, but the, uh, the wife of the house manages to have a cell phone and looking at the news footage that the husband and manager in the background to go on his laptop, which means they have internet service. So it kind of makes you wonder if they're needing food stamps, maybe they should give up their cell phone and their internet service and maybe sell their laptop and buy some food to take care of their daughter. I feel very bad about the lady who was attacked by the two pit bulls, but it truly has nothing to do with the dog. It is the owner, and if you bring them up from a baby, they're the most beautiful, loving dogs. I don't mind them going after people who violate the law, but there are also state troopers who talk on the phone while they're driving and who speed when they are not going to an emergency, and I don't think that's right. They give people summonses for the same violations. And they should go by the old saying, practice what you preach. Most of the people in the state of Connecticut do not want this abolished. Why should a few of those almighty powerful legislatures in Hartford make this decision that should be put on the November ballot, a referendum, let the people of Connecticut decide. All right, you got something you want to sound off on? Just call our Voice of the People hotline at the number right there, 203-212-WTNH. We'll air some of your messages weekdays at the end of our 530 newscast, and that'll do